Today I want to share with you two ways to make the legs a little longer in Photoshop. A lot of female models just requested how to do this in Photoshop. So this is the tutorial for them. But before I begin anything, I do have a disclaimer and you already have guessed what that is. So number one, this is purely based on educational purposes. Okay. Number two, I don't promote any body shaming or any of that stuff. You're awesome just the way you are. And number three, and this is for the activists. I'm just a poor boy trying to teach Photoshop. Don't sue me. So with that said, without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download this photo, make sure to go ahead and check out the links in the description. So first off, I'm going to show you the simple way, the really simple way to do this. So select the rectangular marquee tool and this is what most tutors teach you. Okay, select the rectangular marquee tool and select from the left. Okay, from the place where the, where the leg is pointing. Okay, select from that place or if the leg was pointing down, you will select from down. Now, and stop at a point where it is seamless, but the legs are just starting okay legs are just beginning so i would choose a point here which is seamless and from where you would like to increase the length of the leg so let's choose this one and all you have to do is bring it on its own layer and stretch so controller command j and then controller command t and just increase it just a little bit not too much just a little bit hit enter and have a look at the before and after before after and at the beginning you would remember that i said how to make legs a little longer so make sure you do this little not too much so here's one more thing i just wanted to point that out so while you were selecting this let's go ahead and delete this okay so while you were selecting this remember we selected from the left okay so from the left corner and then we moved and chose the breaking point of the legs we could also have done it from this point but the disadvantage is very obvious we cannot change okay so once you have done it from this point okay once you have started from this point you just cannot change how much of it is selected while selecting it are you getting it if we were selecting from the opposite direction of the leg which means the left hand side we had a leeway on selecting the breaking point right here okay if that's not looking fine you can just drag it leave it here but if you select from this point it's fixed right you cannot just select it right you cannot just select the breaking point so always select from the opposite direction of the leg and then do the process now that was an old way which a lot of people will tell you the only problem with that way is this if you go ahead select that and then put it on its own layer and just stretch it a little bit just like that what will happen is everything just stretches okay have a look these areas stretch these muscles stretch and it kind of looks not right if we go ahead and stretch look Everything is just like the, somebody has stretched the photo and look at the bend, it's not looking right. So all you have to do, I would teach you a new way and the new way is this. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that. And this time, you have to find the breaking point. So have a look at the leg. So if we, if we take an average, the leg is pointing this direction, okay? So let's just, let me show you what's exactly happening. So yeah, so the leg is pointing this direction. We need to draw a line perpendicular to this. What is the line perpendicular to this? Just like that and make a selection and find a breaking point. What is a breaking point? Breaking point is a point where the legs are seamless and there are no other distractions. Okay, so this is not a breaking point. This is not a good breaking point to just select and put it on its own layer. Why? Because there's a little bit of a dress and a little bit of her just kind of crease there. You cannot select that. Okay, so you also should not select this. Why? Because there's a lot of crease and legs are bending there. So you have to select a line somewhere between that. So maybe somewhere to the right where the legs are just beginning. Okay. Here to the right. Okay. So now this was just for explanation purposes. All you have to do, select the polygonal lasso tool and go ahead and you know what direction to choose, right? Just directly do it. I just wanted to show you what exactly is happening and always go ahead and select more than you have to. So it'll select a little extra just like that okay the direction that's fine complete the selection now put this on its own layer control or command j now we have this on its own layer and now we need to manually go ahead and increase the length of the leg properly proportionately how to do that by using puppet warp edit 
Puppet Warp. Now before you do that, if you want this to be non-destructive, make sure to convert this into a smart object. How to do that as well? Right click on it and choose convert to smart object. Or what you can do, you can always go to filter and convert for smart filters. Both of them do pretty much the same thing. So I'll right click and choose convert to smart object and then we'll go to edit Puppet Warp. Okay, now you cannot see anything or you might see something depending upon this is checked or not. So make sure this is checked, show mesh, and this will show you a mesh, a mesh. Now what is a mesh? A mesh is like a web. It's like a bone structure of that area. You can use a mesh to change the relation between the distances of different areas of the area selected. Kind of complex. We'll understand that. Okay, let's have a look. Now think of this as a clay slab. Okay, a slab made up of clay. Now, you have some pins given, so you can click and create some pins here. So if there's just one pin and a clay slab on a smooth surface, if you move this pin, the whole of the slab moves. Of course, there's just one pin. Okay, now let's get back. So to delete a pin, all you have to do, hold the Alt and click on it. Once you hover over it, this scissor shows up, click on it, it just goes away. Now, we want to clamp it down from the sides. We don't want all of this to move. So what do we do? Create pins on all the corners. So here one, one here, one here, one here. And make sure you have pins on the lines which are joining. So you don't want this to be disrupted, right? So make sure you have a pin on the lines. Here, one here, exactly on the lines. And there, here do we have a line? Yes, we do have a line. We do have a line here, we do have a line here. So make sure you have pins on the lines. So we do have a line here. Okay, and that's pretty much good. So we also have a line here, we have a line here and here. Now, we have added the pins so that it just wouldn't move. Now if you add a pin in the middle and if you move it, see, it moves in relation to that, okay? Now, we, we also don't want this to move, okay? So we will just create a pin right there. Now if you move it, it's just moving nicely. Let's go ahead and delete that. Now we wanna increase the length of the legs. All we have to do, just like a bone, click, and this creates an anchor point there. Zoom in quite a bit, a pin, increase it a little bit. See, a leg doesn't just increase from one place. When your height increases, it increases from every cell, right? So all you have to do, click here, a little bit to the left, just like that. Click here, a little bit to the left. Click here, a little bit to the left, okay? Now, if the mesh is disturbing you, just check this off. And you can just adjust it a little bit here and there. And then you can click, make it a little, click, a little, click, a little to the top. There we go, click. And if it's acting like a little pinching, here's what you can do. Density, you can choose fewer points. So what is fewer points? The bone structure will be less, okay? So if we go fewer points, it will look like this. So if you move a little place, it will move a lot of other places. So if you go to normal and if you move this, not a lot of area will move, not a lot of area will be affected. If this is more points, more points is for very minute changes in areas here and there. For this example, normal is fine. So let's go ahead and turn off the mesh and increase it just a little bit, just like that. And maybe I'll just increase this a little bit. Make sure to have the lines in place. And like that. And this takes a lot of work. I'm gonna say this to you, this does take a lot of work. So even if you, in this case, didn't want to increase the overall length of the leg, but just wanted to increase it from the middle, you could do that very easily. Just increase the middle, and there you will have changed the direction, changed the size of the leg, length of the leg, okay? Without even just stretching it to the left. So just like that, fine tune it a little bit, hit enter. Okay, have a look at the before and after before, after, before, after. So we increase it from here, which makes it look more natural. Have a look, before, after, before, after. Now, you might see some sharp edges here and there, okay? So in this case, we don't see, why? Because we created points on the lines, okay? So there's a sharp edge here, have a look. So all you have to do, create a mask. So click on this mask button, 
take the brush, make sure the brush is a little bigger, a little softer, and then with black color, just paint in here. This just makes it a little softer, okay? Wherever you see like a little, see, sharp edge, just make it soft, just like that. And zoom it out a little bit and make it soft. So here, as you can see, the lines are a little squiggly, right? Not straight, so you can just erase this area and get it soft. With a soft brush, just paint over this area, just erase, just make that area invisible from this layer. Paint it with black and there we go. Now this looks pretty nice. Now have a look at the before and after. The wall is nice, everything looks nice before, after. And when you're not satisfied with this, since it is a smart object, you can always go ahead, double click on the puppet warp and adjust that later. Isn't that amazing? Hit enter once you're satisfied and it's done. So that's how you elongate legs or increase the length of the legs in Photoshop. Just remember, the number one way was this. Select from the opposite direction of the leg. Okay, so that you have a leeway of choosing the breaking point. Then put it on its own layer, control the command T, stretch it. Second way, using puppet warp, find the breaking point, find the direction, select it, put it on its own layer, and then convert that into a smart object if you want it to be non-destructive. Now, once you choose the puppet warp, make sure you create the pins on the lines, okay? So where are the lines? Okay, so here, this line, this line, this line, so that it just doesn't break up, so that it looks realistic. This line, this line, okay? You get the idea. And then create a mask and just clean it out, okay? Hope this helped, and if it did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one, till then, stay tuned, and make sure that you keep creating.